Next up, we're going to show you how to modify the pricing in the Pro Landscape database. Now, there's an important distinction in between editing the pricing in the database and editing the pricing on a particular quote. I'm going to go ahead and open up a quote here. Okay, and then on the quote, I'll go to the pricing tab. Okay, on the pricing tab, when I go in and I modify the list price here to say $22, it's only affecting the this particular quote. It doesn't affect the main database pricing. It doesn't affect any other outstanding quotes. Okay, so if I click over here to the preview, you'll see that my price has changed. Okay, now let's go ahead and show you the main database pricing. If I go in to the Tools menu, and this can be done in either Image Editor, Planner, or Proposal, and go to Edit Database and Prices. That's going to open up the Database and Price Editor and what I'll do here is I'll go into the category and then the subcategory for tree deciduous and that loads my library. If I click on the little plus sign there it's going to expand that library out so I can go down and scroll to the one I want to find. Now one little tip that I can give you here is if you're trying to navigate through you can scroll down to find the item but if you just select an item over here and tap the first character of the item you want to jump to. So if I tap the letter R, it jumps to the R's. Okay, and the one I'm looking for here is the Eastern Red Bud. Okay, and that's now selected. I'll just click over to the pricing tab, and now I can go in and edit my pricing. So when I edit the price here, so if I want to change this, the price on the one inch caliper uh, tree, Okay, that updates the database so that when I use that item on a future quote, it's always going to use that price on a quote. Okay, also note that up here at the top of the window, it says default size. So if I always want to use a certain size of tree on here, uh, every time I do a design with it, I can select a default size and it will use that default size when I drag the image or the symbol to the drawing. Okay, so I don't have to keep changing the size every time if I always use the same size of a particular variety of plant. Okay, now we have other columns here such as the cost, the delivery, install, guarantee, flat labor, and then we also have a, a space here to enter the supplier name. Okay, now also keep in mind that what we're doing here is we're editing just the list price. Uh, you also have other methods to calculate the list price such as a cost plus. So down here at the bottom if you were to check the box that says uh, cost plus you can put a multiplier over here and that will take whatever is in the cost column multiply it times the multiplier and come up with a list price here. Okay, Be very careful when you do that however because if you put the cost plus method and you use a size that does not have a price or I'm sorry a cost listed here then it's going to show up as a zero price on under list price so be very careful about using the cost plus make sure you have a cost populated in this column here okay so again when you uh, generate a new design it's going to use the main database pricing to generate uh, that uh, new quote okay now let's go ahead and move on. I'm going to close the database and price editor. And next we're going to go into the tools menu. Now this is only available in the proposal program. I'm going to go to tools and price adjustments. Okay. Now under price adjustments we have several tabs here. The first one's very useful. It's the set prices tab. Now I can go in here and I can click on the the plus sign there and expand that out and you'll see that I can go in and I can check uh, exact uh, types of uh, trees and shrubs uh, within this list. I can also check an entire category or subcategory. So if I want to, let's say we're going to set the deciduous trees uh, that are all 10 gallon size, we're going to go in and change the list price. Let's change that to uh, $30 and then we'll click apply. Okay, and this is going to change the price for every 10 gallon tree in the database. I'll click yes. 
Okay, so that just went in and updated all of my 10 gallon trees in a matter of about two seconds. It, uh, it went through very quickly uh, to update those prices. So using this method you can update uh, bulk pricing very very quickly. You can also update the delivery price, the labor price, cost, guarantee price, install price, and you can also put in a uh, number of man hours that it takes to install a particular item. Okay, so this is very useful. Now, when we were in here uh, and we were adjusting uh, the you know the different prices here. Let me go ahead and select this. If you want to uh, select multiple items over here, what you'll do is you'll press the shift key and that will allow you to select multiple items. So if you want to select multiple and change all of those to the same price, you can do that as well. Okay. Now the next tab here, this is where we can actually uh, set the uh, sizes uh, in the database. So uh, each tree, for example, has oh, about a dozen different sizes to choose from here. Now this may not be enough. Maybe uh, your trees are uh, set as a, a number uh, uh, one box or a, a number ten box uh, rather than uh, so many inch caliper or a gallon size. Uh, so you can customize this pretty easily by uh, selecting the category and going down to add size and then that will allow you to put a new size in there globally uh, within uh, that category. You can also drill down and you can if you just want to do it for one tree you could do that however you can do that in the database and price editor pretty easily if you're just doing it for one tree but if you're doing it for an entire category or subcategory this is where you want to do it. Also, if you have sizes in there, maybe your uh, sizes are metric, so you don't want all the English sizes, you can go in and, and select a slot. You can select a size and then delete the size, and that will wipe that size out of the database. Okay, the next tab over here is the uh, discount. So if you want to um, set a certain discount for each item, uh, you can do that pretty easily uh, by percentage. So if you check that if you put a if you want a five percent discount it would be 5.0 uh, as the discount and then when you click apply it would it would do that globally through all of the trees apply a five percent discount off of the list price okay if you go to the adjust prices this will allow you to increase or decrease the list price for whatever items you have selected over here and again you can drill down and, and select uh, individual items or entire categories or subcategories of items. You can also do the same with the uh, the favorites. So you can go in and increase or decrease by percentage uh, the uh, pricing of your favorites here. Okay, so that is the price adjustments uh, utility. All right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a, a much better way of setting prices uh, that. Uh, well, it seems to be a, a very popular way to set prices. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump over to the Planner program. Now this option is available in both Planner and Image Editor. Uh, in this example I'm just going to show you how it works on the Planner side of the program. Okay, so in Planner I have a drawing open that has numerous uh, plants on it. What we're going to do is go up to the Tools menu and select Price These Items. Okay, and that's going to bring open a window with every item that was listed on that project will be up here in the upper pane. So I can go in and I can select an item. Okay, and when I select that item, I can go in and modify the list price, the cost, I can change the default size, I can do everything uh, pretty much here that I was able to do in the database and price editor, but it's only applying the pricing to items that are found on the project that I currently have open and not just the size that I'm using but also all of the other sizes available uh, within the database so you'll see down here I can go in and you know I can change the list price on the five gallon or I can change the list price on the seven gallon very quickly now where this comes in handy is let's say I have a supplier 
that each year they send me a new price sheet. What I can do is I can take one of each of their items and put that symbol on a drawing and then I'll save the drawing and then I'll use price these items so that all of their items will show up in this upper pane. And then I just go in and I update uh, the information down here at the bottom and you'll also see the the supplier name can also be entered over here in the far column. Okay so this is a little bit of work the first time around but now next year they send you a new price sheet. You just open the drawing back up use price these items found under the tools menu and boom you have all of their items listed here you don't have to create that drawing each time just remember where you've saved the drawing and then when you open it you'll have all of their items in one convenient location so you just scroll down the list and uh, modify those pricing it makes it very very simple now there is another method that we show you in another video where you're importing a spreadsheet but that can be a very tedious process and you have to be able to match up the SKU numbers uh, here which uh, the SKU number in the spreadsheet has to match the SKU number in the database which uh, can be a, a very time consuming process. So price these items is probably the single best way to uh, to update pricing uh, in bulk.